Oh, let's move now to a major reversal overnight in China. So the government there announced it's rolling back COVID restrictions and lockdowns. This comes after frustrations over the strict rules led to protests in several cities. Our Janice Mackey Freyer is right there in Beijing with the very latest. Hey, Janice, good morning. Hoda, good morning to you. Of course, people are happy to have the harsher aspects of zero COVID lifted. Being able to quarantine from home, it's huge. It removes the dread of being dragged away in a hazmat suit to a government facility. These changes were likely to happen, but they come after extraordinary protests that called for an end to zero COVID and then grew into calls for greater political freedoms here. That seems to have jarred the leadership, though Xi Jinping has yet to say anything publicly about the unrest. But as these rules are now being rolled back, more people are having to confront the actual virus like never before. Restrictions have been relaxed in the past, but the difference now is that things are opening up here with a lot more COVID. Infections are going to surge, people aren't really prepared, and the healthcare system has had no stress test for the wave that's coming. So the exit from this strategy could be as complicated as zero COVID itself, meaning beyond this re moment of relief, which for me has been more than a thousand days in the works, uh, the sense is there are still hard times ahead with this next phase of the pandemic. Hoda. All right, Janice Mackey Freyer for us there in Beijing. Janice, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.